with the participation of international renowned experts. Conflicts about sovereignty are a very hot topic. Uh, there is no alternative than uh, a code of good practice as a procedural answer to what would uh, otherwise remain left to just the rule of force. So this code is important as a first step uh, towards rule of law. These sessions will lay the foundations for drafting a code of good practice for the resolution of territorial sovereignty conflicts. The process of drafting a code of good practice for resolving territorial sovereignty conflicts in Europe is an important and fundamental endeavour. Beyond the peace and stability issue, it also raises the question of the respect of European values as stated in Article 2 of the Treaty on the European Union. The Bilbao meeting this November will allow us to complete and refine the draft code of good practice. Turning a blind eye won't make conflicts disappear. There are currently conflicts in Europe and in the world that may be defined as territorial sovereignty conflicts. Sovereignty disputes can be really difficult, filled with tension, very emotional and deeply political. But that doesn't mean we should turn a blind eye. And I'm really looking forward to exploring with you how a code of good practice can help to support governments and international institutions as they respond to these disputes. These disputes are not remnants of the past, but are based on the vindication of fully contemporary values. They affect individual and collective rights. This is an issue that goes beyond state borders and concerns the entire international community. At the European Centre for Minority Issues, we believe that minority rights are a cornerstone of the European project. Therefore, we strongly believe that minority rights should be discussed in the context of sovereignty disputes taking place all over Europe. This project gives opportunity to do exactly that, and this is what makes it so exciting. There are similar institutions within the European framework which could contribute to the drafting of this code of good practice that would complement other similar existing tools. The European Union could be seen as a peace project. Since its inception, it has provided for a pragmatic framework where competing nationalisms could coexist and even cooperate. It is also a multi-level constitutional order. It's very, very important to question, analyze, examine what are those principles that can lead to a consensual, successful, democratic and peaceful resolution of territorial sovereignty disputes. And this project does exactly that. A code of good practice for the resolution of sovereignty disputes strengthens the European project, bolsters its foundational values and contributes to stability. It reinforces the links between citizenship and European territories. The basis for this draft will be presented in Bilbao.